Hey guys, I'm Marcus here with Weaver Leathercraft. And today um, we're looking at some machines that we build here. All our Master Tools machines, um, as you may or may not know, are made right here in Mount Hope at our facility yeah. in Mount Hope, Ohio. Oh, yeah. um, we have a big 19,000 square foot metal shop down here uh, where we build these from start to finish. Um, so we're going to take a look at, at the process of, of how these get built a little bit today um, and show you guys uh, some behind the scenes of, of what happens. So right here, we're looking at our, our eight ton um, Mighty Wonder clicker. And this right here is just obviously just one part of the clicker. This is just the clicker head. And all these parts, or most of these parts, I should say, are laser cut uh, so that uh, for precision, um, so they look the same, or so they're the same size and everything every time. And this is using a quarter inch, half inch, and three eighth inch steel here on the head. Um, so you know it's not a chintzy machine. It's, it's, a, heavy, it's a heavy duty built machine. Obviously, it's uh, going with eight tons of pressure to click out your parts, uh, so it needs some, some strong material, and we use that so that these will last a lifetime. So the process of this one, we're gonna show you, um, Todd is gonna show you uh, some of the welding process on this machine. And when he welds these, he uses this jig right here. And two reasons to use this jig. One is to make sure that all these parts always go in the same place. Um, so that so that the machine is built the same way every time the other reason that he uses this with the high heat of welding this plate here um, as you weld and the, and the high heat the plate tends to want to warp a little bit which obviously isn't going to work out very well if you're trying to click uh, clicker or click out on clicker dies if that's not flat so he uses this jig puts this in here and this holds everything flat till all these parts are welded on and it can cool and then everything stays stays in place. Um, so we're gonna uh, check out Todd here uh, doing some welding, um, and then we'll look at some other parts of the machine as well. So now we've seen some of the welding process of how this machine gets put together. And here again, you can see uh, the head that we were just looking at uh, and all these parts are welded together. And here's the other part of this clicker that you can get a little, a little more of a visual how this looks. Um, and this is the clicker bed, uh, the bottom portion of the machine. And once this gets assembled, this, this clicker head slides into here and a, and a big cylinder goes through here and that's what holds the machine together and makes it work. But before these get assembled, there's one last step, um, and that is these um, parts all need to get powder coated. Um, two reasons for the powder coating. One, so obviously they look real pretty in your shop. Um, the other reason is to obviously it's raw steel, so to keep that steel from rusting. And one other cool fact about these machines that I, that I didn't mention is not only are they made right here um, in Ohio in our shop, they were also designed by our talented team of designers and designed and, and tested right here. Uh, so one last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head to our showroom um, and we're gonna look at a completed clicker, one that's all finished, um, and we're gonna show you how that thing works. Okay guys, now we're up here in our showroom uh, and we're taking a look at the eight ton clicker um, in its completed form. Um, and I'm gonna show you what this machine, what this machine does. Um, first off, the purpose of this machine is to click out parts out of leather like this so that you don't have to cut out the parts because that's very time consuming and this makes it a lot easier. And all these clicker dies, these have uh, pre-sharpened edges on here and these clicker dies we also make right here in our shop. Um, so, and we make custom dies. We have a couple uh, stock dies that we sell, but uh, we make custom dies. Um, so send us your patterns and, and we'll get you a quote and, and we can make custom dies for you. So how this works is you place your, your leather on the, the machine bed here, the clicker goes on, or the, yeah, the clicker die goes on top, this head swings over, this handle comes down, and you hear that pop. That means that uh, die just went all the way right through that leather, and it clicks it out perfectly every single time. So thanks for joining us and taking the time to watch this video. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll show you how some more of these machines here are built.